Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's exercise workout video type information thing. I guess we're not doing a workout today. I'm Tyler Marin, and this is Revision Training coming to you with a little bit of information. We're gonna talk about hydration today. How important is water? How much of it do we need? When do we need to drink more or less? We're gonna go through all of those details today and we're gonna help you with some useful tools and make sure that you guys are all set. So, a little bit of information for you first. You can actually go about 50 days without any food, but only two or three days without having water. So it's super important for survival. Your body is comprised of about 60% water. The average adult is about 60% water. Infants, when they're born, it's a little bit higher. They're about 75% water. And then the elderly, it goes down to about 55% of your body's weight is comprised of water. So where is all that water stored in your body? The water is stored about one third in your blood and outside of your cells and then two-thirds of it actually physically inside the cells of your body. So there are a whole bunch of things that water does in your system is very very important. Some of the things include regulating your body temperature, regulating your hormones, regulates your energy levels, the thickness of your blood, skin moisture, cell longevity, positive digestion, cushioning for your spinal column, your eyes, your brain, and joints, and also for waste product elimination from your body. Something to keep in mind is that we lose water out of our body constantly throughout the day from breathing, sweating, and through our urine and our feces. So when your body starts to lose a lot of water and you're not replenishing it, there are several things that can happen and some signs that you'll start to notice. So if you lose up to 1% of your body weight in water, so if you were a person who weighed 100 pounds and you lost just one pound of water, you'll start to notice first a decrease in power for exercise, a decrease in your ability to control your body temperature, and a little bit of a decrease in your appetite. Past that, up to a 5% of your body weight loss in water. So again, a person weighing about 100 pounds, that would be five pounds lost of water weight. That's when you start to run into headaches, irritability, sleepiness, and a lack of concentration ability. And then after that, if you lose up to 8% of your body weight in water or more than that, it can actually be fatal. So it's so crucial that we make sure we're keeping ourselves well hydrated. So how much water do we actually need to drink? Well, the recommendations can vary quite a bit. Anywhere from as low as 64 fluid ounces a day, all the way up to 128 fluid ounces a day. And for those of you who measure more in gallons and liters, that is anywhere from about 2 liters a day all the way up to 3.7 liters a day or somewhere around a half a gallon up to a full gallon of water. So it can really vary quite a bit depending on a few factors. Some of those factors will include age, gender, height, weight, activity level, and temperature and climate. So about 20% of your water intake actually typically comes from the food that you eat, the rest just from the liquids that you're gonna drink. A few other factors that might determine an increase or decrease in your water intake are gonna be if you are sick with a fever, vomiting, or diarrhea, this will typically increase the amount of water that your body's gonna demand. Or if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, that will also increase the demand of water that your body has. So what are some of the signs that show you that you are actually dehydrated? Well, the first one is kind of obvious. It's being thirsty. Having a dry, sticky mouth is your first indication that you are dehydrated and you need to put some water in your body. Some other uh, signs that you're a little bit dehydrated. Muscle cramps, headaches, dry skin, tiredness, and loss of concentration can all be symptoms of being a little bit on the dehydrated side, or a lot in some cases. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the common questions that we have when it comes to drinking water. 
One of the primary ones that I get is, can I drink too much water? The simple answer is not typically. If you are a healthy adult without any kidney disease or other underlying medical issues, it's really challenging to drink too much water in a day. If you are a person though who has some type of underlying disease or you're a long distance athlete running in something like a marathon where there is a lot of sweating and a long duration of heat exposure, then you can be at risk for a condition called hyponutremia where the salt content in your blood is too low in comparison to the amount of water in your system. So this can be really dangerous. Again, it's pretty rare. If you are somebody who is exercising um, for more than an hour vigorously, then typically you wanna make sure you get a uh, electrolyte drink in your system. This will help prevent any type of risk of hyponatremia. So another common question is, what temperature water should we drink? Should it be warm or cold? So some studies and cultures indicate that drinking cold water can actually be a little detrimental to your health. It can actually shrink your stomach size, challenging your digestive system, which there's not a lot of studies that actually demonstrate that. But one of the things that has been found is that cold water will actually thicken the mucus that lines your digestive tract. And so if you are already uh, ill, if you have a cold or runny nose, then you probably don't wanna drink cold water because it can thicken your mucus and make it more challenging to breathe and clear your sinuses and things like that. So warm water, broth, those are the times that you definitely wanna have those. After that, a lot of the studies show that there's not a major difference between drinking cold and warm water. Whichever you're gonna be able to get more of in your system is typically gonna be the best. There's also a, a question that's asked a lot as if I drink cold water, will that help me lose weight faster? Well, if you drink cold water, your body has to increase the temperature of that water when it gets into your stomach so that it can be absorbed. And it actually burns calories to increase the temperature of that water but the energy that it takes to increase the temperature of the water is typically very, very little. So it's not gonna impact your overall weight loss goals. So here's another common question. How do I measure how much water I'm actually taking in? Well, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. One of the easiest that I find is to actually have a water bottle around with you and know how many ounces it is so that you can consume a certain number of, of times of that water bottle and that way you know how many um, fluid ounces of water you're taking in. So sometimes I get asked, the, well, I don't know how many fluid ounces my water bottle is, so how do I figure that out? That's a really good question and I'm gonna show you an easy, easy trick to make that happen, which is actually kind of cool because I have this water bottle here um, and I got this as a gift for Christmas. I actually don't even know how many fluid ounces it is, so I'm about to find out with you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my water bottle, I'm gonna fill it up with water. I have a one cup uh, measuring cup here. So one cup of like a physical measuring cup is actually gonna be eight fluid ounces exactly. So if I take my water bottle and I fill it with water, and now what I'm gonna do is just dump out this water into the cup and count how many I get. And that'll determine how many ounces of water I have. So we'll go one, So I ended up with uh, six cups. So six times eight, which is 48 fluid ounces that this water bottle will hold. So general recommendation, uh, if I need to get about 100 fluid ounces in a day, just for an example, then I would need to drink about two and a half of these water bottles to make sure that I'm getting enough fluid ounces in my system. So also when we talk about how much water you're drinking, uh, this is not necessarily a question I get all the time, but it is something that I want to bring to your attention. 
When you're in a weight loss goal, your water weight can fluctuate quite a bit. So a lot of times when people start off on a fitness program and their goal is to lose weight and they start exercising right away, they start eating better, they end up losing a lot of weight very, very quickly because their body is going to shed excess water to start with. Likewise, you can gain water very, very easily. And I want to demonstrate that to you guys today. Your socks don't match. Yeah, I know. It's a style thing. Really? Yeah. All right, well, let's see how much we're right here. Two seconds It's pretty heavy. Less judge, more film. Okay, so I'm gonna get the a lot of water in my system. I'm going to show you how much weight you can actually gain just by drinking extra water. Uh, by the way, useful item to have around the house. This is a, a Berkey water filter, just kind of sits on our counter and uh, you can filter water through the top of it. It takes out um, all excess junk out of your water, uh, even has some fluoride filters in it. So I would strongly, strongly recommend that uh, you get something like this. If you're planning on drinking a lot of water and you don't want to spend a lot of money on bottled water, this is definitely a good investment. Mm. All right, cool. So I'm really excited. I've been working out hard. Have I lost more weight? Oh, well, I've just put on two and a half pounds in the last 30 seconds from drinking all that water. <laughs> so people get really frustrated about that kind of stuff. They're like, why was my weight this yesterday and today it's this. This is why I don't really recommend that you tra track your weight from day to day to day. Um, typically you wanna weigh yourself about once a week. You can weigh yourself every day, but don't get frustrated when it jumps up and down just a little bit because how much water you drink and um, if you're female, depending on which part of your cycle you're in, um, so many factors that can determine how much water is in your system, thus how much you're going to weigh. So another common question that I hear a lot is, should I be drinking water during a meal? And most studies show that there's no negative effect on your digestion when you're drinking water during or after a meal. In fact, it can be beneficial for you, helping break down your food and soften your stool for digestion. Next, is drinking water good for losing weight? As you just saw, if I'm trying to lose weight and I'm drinking a lot of water, won't that make me weigh more? Well, the answer is yes, it will make you weigh more, but it's not going to add body fat. And that's what we're trying to do when we're on a weight loss goal is decrease body fat. So drinking water is gonna help flush toxins out of your system. It's gonna help improve your exercise performance. So in the end, even though drinking a lot of water can add weight to you physically, it will decrease the amount of body fat that you have on you, so thus helps your goals. Typically, when you first start an exercise program, like I mentioned, you're gonna lose a lot of water weight very quickly, but something that you'll notice is that your clothes won't fit any differently. You might lose six to seven pounds, but you're not gonna see a big change in how your clothes fit. But after a longer duration of doing your program, that's when you're gonna to start to notice your clothes fitting differently on you. That's when you're actually losing um, body fat weight as opposed to just that water weight. So just a quick tip for you to be able to notice those changes. And finally, one last question that I typically get is, when is it not good to drink that much water? There are a few situations where not drinking a lot of water can be indicated. If you have kidney disease or some other type of underlying medical condition, there might be times when drinking a lot of water is not gonna be good for you. And then again, if you're an athlete, if you're running a long distance marathon, you're sweating very profusely and you're only drinking water, that can lead to a bad situation, that can lead to that hyponatremia that we talked about. So those might be times that you shouldn't be drinking a lot of water. Some of the signs that you might actually be overhydrated can be very similar to being dehydrated. So things like headaches, um, cramps, some um, fatigue, but other signs such as clear urine, 
um, swelling in your hands and feet. These can be signs that you are uh, too hydrated and you should seek metal, medical attention in that case. So let's go ahead and finish up with just a couple general rules of thumb that should really help you guys out as you look at tracking your water and making sure you're getting enough in your system. Most experts recommend that you should try to consume about half your body weight in fluid ounces a day. So again, if you are somebody who weighs about 200 pounds, then you would want to consume somewhere around 100 fluid ounces of water each day. General recommendation, and remember that it can vary tremendously. If, if you're 200 pounds and you have a sedentary day, you're not doing a lot, then that 100 fluid ounces is probably sufficient. If you're very, very active, you're outside, you're sweating a lot, you're a large male, you're probably gonna wanna up that intake. Another general rule of thumb that you wanna think about is if you are thirsty, you're dehydrated, and if you're dehydrated, you should drink water. So anytime you feel thirst, you're already in a state of dehydration, you wanna make sure that you get some water in you. And speaking of that sensation of thirst, make sure that when you feel hungry, you also drink water, right? So if you feel a craving for hunger, try drinking a glass of water first because a lot of times we can get confused between the sensation of hunger and thirst, and that can help you reduce your caloric intake. Another general rule of thumb, if you're exercising for longer than an hour, that's typically when you wanna take in some electrolytes a pre-mixed sports drink or some type of added powder. Um, typically sodium and potassium are the main electrolytes that you wanna make sure you're getting in your system. You can even uh, consume something like coconut water that's gonna have a lot of potassium in it to help make sure that you're avoiding that hyponatremia situation. And finally, our last general rule of thumb You'll want to increase your normal amount of water intake if any of these situations apply. If it's hotter than normal or you're more active than you normally are, if you've changed to a higher altitude, or you are sick with vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and finally, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, all of these situations may drive up the normal amount of water that you wanna take in. So in conclusion, hydration is a really simple way to keep your body moving well. It's super important for overall health and good body function. Most people are in a state of dehydration. It's really difficult to overhydrate yourself. So have a water bottle with you. Find an app that'll help remind you to drink water if it's a challenge for, for you to remember to have water in your system. Set a goal for yourself and make sure that you're keeping yourself as hydrated as you can. I appreciate the time. Make sure you comment, like this video, share it. Ask me questions below. I'd love to answer anything that I may not have covered in this video. And as we say from Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. You guys make it a strong day.